Hi, I'm Josh Harmony. Well, I guess I was raised in a Christian family. I didn't really grow up going to church too much, but I grew up really reading the Bible a lot. Like my parents, um, my dad would have us read Proverbs and stuff after um, dinner and whatnot. And, and uh, so I, I definitely understood the gospel from a young age and uh, asked Jesus to forgive me of my sins when I was something like seven or eight years old. I had always felt his presence in my life and, and was aware of him and um, in his way, you know, he'd reveal himself to me. And When I was about 17, I got sponsored for skateboarding by a company called Toy Machine and uh, I started traveling around the world and at that time, I would still, you know, say I still prayed and, and still believed in stuff, but it was definitely, uh, things were a lot different for me and just seeing the way so many different people had so many different faith, faiths than I did and just being sort of confronted with friends that were atheists or agnostic or, you know, Buddhist or whatever and, uh, you know, that stuff sort of shakes you up a little bit and um, makes you question whether what you believe is real or not. Um, and I moved out of my parents' house when I was 18 and started taking mushrooms and, and like, and smoking pot still and, and everything. But the odd thing was I, I still read the Bible and, and, um, would often be convicted with, with scriptures like if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off or it's better to enter the kingdom of, of heaven, maimed to enter, than to enter hell hole and stuff like that. And, but I had definitely felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit many times and then when I I was at a party um, and was smoking weed out of a bong in a circle and somebody put cocaine in the bong and uh, I smoked it and it really freaked me out, really shook me up. I couldn't, um, I was having a hard time breathing and my legs were shaking and my buddy took me home and, and uh, you know, help me upstairs into my apartment. I had probably the longest night of my life, just um, really afraid that I was going to die. I mean, I know that you can smoke pot and get scared and, you know, get paranoia to like a, an insane level. And I had done that, but this was to a whole nother level than that. I thankfully passed out and woke up in the, ne the next morning, early in the morning, and I drove to my parents' house and told my dad everything that I had been doing, told him about the mushrooms, everything, and um, just partying and sleeping with my girlfriend, all this stuff, you know, and, you know, that I think the world sees as petty things now, but when I felt like I was going to die, I, I mean, those things were very, uh, very serious, you know, like I had offended God in a very serious way, and I know our, our, our world laughs at those things like they're nothing, because they are nothing compared to, like, what people do now a day is in our and is accepted but um, you know I was definitely a sinner in the hands of an angry God and I repented I, I went to my dad I was like dad I need to I need Jesus for real this time and uh, I need him like a hundred percent like I uh, I feel like I've been walking with one foot in one foot out like I need to get right and, and do the whole thing and and uh, I said will you baptize me in the pool in the backyard and he said yeah so he baptized me in the pool and and then I went in my room by myself and I got on my knees and I said Jesus please forgive me I'm sorry and, and you know I really want to know that I'm forgiven I want to know you as my savior and know that that, uh, that I, I know that my sinfulness is keeping me from you and I want you like whatever it takes like just have my life you know and, and at that moment I I felt the Holy Spirit like I'd never experienced in my life, almost like, um, you know, His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, like, entered the room and, you know, surrounded me and, and put His arms around me, and I remember hearing, I love you and I forgive you, and that was, like, the first time that I felt like I had experienced God in a very tangible way, I mean, it was very real, and, uh, you know, God, since then, um, through... I've witnessed people be healed miraculously and um, just various things. God's just shown himself true and, and powerful um, time and time again in my life. And, and uh, I'm thankful that he saved me and I'm thankful I'm going to heaven when I die.